So for this next project, uh, we're going to be doing a drag race. So you and your teammates are going to build you a dragster. And you're going to compete against each other. So you're going to take it to the test track, and the times on the test track are going to do all the talking. Um, so you need a couple of documents for this project. The first one is the 234 document, which you're actually going to need for the next um, the next project too. Um, so for this project, it's going to be on task two. Uh, if you scroll down on this document to task two, uh, you can read the mission and all the details of this project. So the mission is that you're basically building a robot that's going to um, try and go 20 feet in the least amount of time. Um, you also have to have a push, uh, push button, so it could be a bump sensor, it could be a limit switch, um, but you need to have one of those utilized to start and run your program, because uh, that's going to be how we race. Uh, we have a push button to start both of them at the same time. So uh, that is the mission. Uh, your, bon your bonus, uh, if you have time and you're able to complete the bonus, you can program your dragster to stop as soon as it hits that 20 foot mark. Um, so that will be just kind of a bonus if you if you have time and your computer engineer has a chance to to try that um, so there's a couple of duties so if you have three people on your team this is going to be really easy to delegate jobs here um, if you only have two people um, I would recommend having mechanical and electrical be the same person and your computer engineer is going to be a different person um, so mechanical and electrical can be combined if you really want to or you could combine electrical and computer um, so however you want to do that if you have a team of two or a team th of three uh, you can do that however you choose your mechanical engineer is going to be the one who's more hands-on more building dealing with the motors assembling everything together uh, electrical engineer is going to be the one who's wiring things making sure motors and sensors are plugged up correctly making sure you have a battery that's fully charged for the test day everything is set up electrically like it's supposed to um, their computer engineer is going to be the one who's doing the program. Um, they're going to be doing mostly robot C. They're also going to be working with the electrical and mechanical engineers to make sure that things are plugged up properly, uh, making sure that the program is actually doing what everything is hooked up to do. So there's a lots of communication and collaboration that's going on here. Um, at the very end, you're going to print and attach your program to the lab sheet. So lab sheet. Um, is going to look like this. So you can download this. This is also on Weebly. It's your, your lab sheet. I just need one of those per group. But your lab sheet, you can fill in the different jobs here to let me know who did what, the project, due date, section, etc. Uh, your mechanical engineer, uh, once it gets, once your job is, is kind of done uh, and there's a lot of programming going on, so when you're kind of finished or your job is wrapping up, you can draw isometric or um, multi-view sketches of your your final design, your final prototype here, I'm making sure to label where the electrical devices are, the sensors, the motors, battery, etc. Uh, and that's going to help communicate as well as the electrical engineer's job here in his schematic. It's going to let you know how to plug everything up. Uh, so your electrical engineer, you're going to be doing the program, but you're also going to be filling out, um, or excuse me, the program the electrical engineer is going to be communicating with the computer engineer or the programmer to uh, complete this schematic so this is basically telling me telling your other team members where things are going to be plugged in so which ports have what motors what you're calling them so this should also match up with your configuration of how you're configuring your motors um, the programmer you're going to use the project lead the way template um, don't forget if you haven't already downloaded it or you don't know where it is I've conveniently placed it here on the website so that you can download it really quickly if you if you need it. So that Robot C template is there in the event that you need it. Um, don't forget the conclusion questions. Uh, and then when all is said and done, you're going to print everything out. We're going to attach the program. We're going to attach the lab sheet together. And that's what you're actually going to turn in. So um, that is the drag race in a nutshell. Um, good luck make you a really fast dragster. Don't forget everything we've learned up until this point. You're going to use it now to make the fastest dragster possible. All right, make them fast. Make them quick.